of course, it's your favorite rosebud, Nisi K, and I am coming to you with another gossip video. Stay tuned. All right, my beautiful rosebud. So if you saw the prior screen, you see this conversation is going to be regarding Lyrica coming out and stating that the love and hip hop Hollywood producers made her fabricate the whole affair with Safari and the whole situation about them flirting. I'm really not going to get into this drastically because honestly, like, I don't know. My opinion on this is kind of like, well, we'll get into it, but I'm not going to spend too much time on this. So, unless you were living under a rock, I am pretty sure you guys are aware that it was going around. It started with Brooke making a comment to her, I don't know if they're still together, but her ex-boyfriend or boyfriend or fiance, whatever they are, Marcus regarding there might have been something inappropriate going on between Lyrica and Safari, even though she is supposed to be Lyrica's friend. But Brooke has been messy boots, baby. So I don't know what's up with her, but she's been in a lot of drama. And she has been messy, messy, messy from being in drama with Moniz to, um, of course, Lyrica. We're talking about this right now. And like Nikki and I, I'm also Tierra Marie, if I'm not mistaken. She has been Miss Messy Boots. But anyway, so like I said, she sits here and she does pillow talk with her fiance or whatever they are. And of course, I guess her fiance has a big ass mouth and, <laughs> and he couldn't help himself. So he went back and he re he he let Ray know what Brooke told him and you know Ray trying to go to Safari to figure out and Safari you know he didn't tell him that they slept together but he also didn't sit here and actually fix how he was actually talking or how he was portraying the situation but you know that's neither here nor there we're gonna go ahead and let that go because obviously this was a fabricated storyline but like I said with this, this was a whole fabricated storyline that grew, blew out of hand. And of course, you know, Lyrica was pregnant. So then there started being doubt as far as if A1 or Safari was her baby daddy. Now, of course, with everything going on, obviously you can see that A1 is in the dark on what's going on as far as this fabrication going on and that this was all made up. So he does end up saying to Lyrica in like the season finale that he did want a paternity test and I feel like he wanted this paternity test just to bring ease to himself and to clear his mind and to erase any and all doubt because let's be real when you are bringing a child into this world and you are bringing a baby somebody that you grow a bond with that's an everlasting love and to have that completely ripped away from you by finding out that the even though it technically can't be fully ripped away from you but that's a hurt that's a major hurt to go through by being a part of this child's life and raising them and watching them grow and just being a part of something so amazing just to find out that it, it's not even your child like that that can be devastating so I don't fault him for wanting the DNA test, just like when some people were saying that his mom was out of line. I don't fault his mom neither for saying she wanted a DNA test because at the end of the day, let's be real. Like, I mean, her and Lyrica don't get along anyway. And I, there's a lot of things that his mom does that I don't agree with. But at the end of the day, that's her son. And she's going to have her son's back. And she's going to want what's best for her son. And okay, while we're acting like it's all kumbaya and we're going to just forget everything and, and move on. He still needs to know if this is his baby or not, because at the same time, this baby has a whole nother family. Like you're going to have grandparents, you're going to have uncles, you're going to have aunts, you're going to have cousins that are going to be involved in this baby's life and all that to be ripped away from them because they find out that this actually isn't their, you know, A1's baby that it, it doesn't affect just A1. It's a bigger picture that I don't think anybody really ever thought about, but what ends up happening is Lyrica ends up admitting to everybody on Twitter. I believe if it wasn't Twitter, it was Instagram. I can't really remember, but you will see a screenshot pop up soon. She ends up admitting that 
She worked with producers to create this fabricated storyline. Story goes how it was supposed to be is it was supposed to be that her and Safari or Safari was flirt. They were flirting, but it was supposed to be cleared up the next episode, which is why she comes out and she says, I should have never um, agreed to this fake ass storyline, which in my head makes me look at you sideways anyway. Like, so you were participating in a fake storyline that's supposed to be about real life. But of course, all these shows that are supposed to be reality shows are fabricated and faked in a lot of ways. So this is nothing new, but my opinion on this, my opinion on this is honestly, she brought this on herself because first and foremost, why are you faking a storyline? Why are you faking the funk? If you really didn't do it, don't even pretend like even for a second that that is something that you could do because you agreed to this. And it didn't turn out in the way that you expected. And then you looked bad in the situation. And now you're angry about it. But in the end, can you really be angry when you agreed to fabricate a story? It just went further than what you expected. All you can really do is just chalk this up to the game and be like, you know what? It is what it is. I should have never agreed to this. Move forward from here. And on top of that, me being a married woman, I feel like one of the number one rules, it, it should be one of the top rules that you have is communication. So if you knew you were going to be sitting here participating in a fake storyline that could potentially go wrong and potentially look bad for you, knowing that your husband is on the show and knowing that this is happening with somebody that they sit here and they view as a friend they brother they boy you should have sat here and been decent enough and woman enough to go to your husband and be like look where there's a situation going on where for a storyline we're gonna do blah 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 or even if you didn't want to just go into the full blown discussion with them because production told you not to you could have at least just given him a warning because at the end of the day you also had your husband and his mom and his family along with yourself and your mom on this show looking like complete and other fools you did you might not want to see it that way but you did and what i also didn't like is how i noticed looking through her responses on twitter how she kept saying a couple of times you don't know what i've forgiven a1 for you don't know what i've had to forgive him for and this that and the other so why are you trying to deflect right now you're trying to deflect the situation and you're trying to toss it over to him and what he's done wrong and how he's treated you when in reality he's done his dirt and you sat here and you said you forgave him and you took him back and that's what i i don't understand about most people is if you sit here and you say that you forgive somebody and you take them back like how do you have the right when you turn around and you do something how do you feel you have the right to sit there and be like well you remember when you did this to me remember that doesn't diminish what you did to them that doesn't diminish how they feel should they probably have a little bit more compassion and understanding since they did it to you yeah but at the end of the day everybody's different so you can't say just because you took this and handled it this way that he's gonna take it and handle it the same way as you you cannot say that so to cover all bases number one rule communication you should just talk to him you should just told him this is what it is and boom so behind closed doors you and him were straight reason i know behind closed doors y'all had issues and you and him were not straight is because you were you were stressing too much and you were upset too much you were sitting here lashing out like even on the, the the reunion you're sitting here lashing out at multiple people i'm not saying you didn't have your right but as a pregnant woman what they doing and what they saying should not matter and you should be sitting here focusing on you and that baby but you're lashing out because at the end of the day this did do damage between you and a1 and while that probably sucked 
and why you probably had to deal with a lot by yourself and then the fact that you're so mad at his mom about asking for a dna test like i stated that is her son that is her child she's gonna sit here and think about her son and her child before she thinks about you and your feelings just like i'm pretty sure your mom is gonna think about you and your feelings before she would think about a one because you are her child and you're probably going to get an understanding when your child gets older how you're going to have your child's back and be worried about your child's best interest. You got to understand this. You And so for you to sit here and try to say that his mom cannot see the baby until she apologizes is ridiculous to me because at the end of the day, let's be real, you don't have to have anything to do with her. You don't but that is not just your baby that is not just your that's a one's baby too y'all both made this life together you might have done the majority of the work because you had to t tote and carry the baby and push the baby out but at the end of the day without a one there wouldn't have been no baby unless it was gonna be a random nigga without your husband there wouldn't be no baby Sorry if you can hear my dogs barking in the background, but I'm guessing somebody is at the door. <laughs> but anyway, getting back through to this. Honestly, in this situation, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and get too much into it. But it was just, it, it was a lot. It was ridiculous to me. I didn't understand how she even felt like she had the, I mean, I can understand how she felt like she had the right to be angry. But really, I don't feel like she had the right to lash out and be angry in the degree that she was because at the end of the day people are going to sit here and they're going to have their opinions and when she says she would do it she should have known that but all right guys let me know your opinion like comment and subscribe it's your favorite rose button ck i'm gonna go ahead and end this right now bye All right, Rosebuds, that's it. I'm your favorite Rosebud, Nisi K. I want to thank you so much for tuning in and like, share, and subscribe. And follow your girl on her social media sites. It don't hurt nothing. All social media is GossipBud87. All right, guys. Bye.